was a wild weekend of comebacks on the court. This is the HartfordHawks.com Hawks Vision Weekly Update. Hello everyone and welcome once again to the HartfordHawks.com Hawks Vision Weekly Update. I'm your host, Keith Arsenault. Last week, Hawks Vision took the week off thanks to some technical difficulties, but with those issues resolved, Hawks Vision is back in action. So too were the men's and women's basketball teams right here at the Chase Family Arena. With four games at home last week, there's plenty of action to get to, so let's jump straight into the highlights. The Hawk women hosted Hofstra on Wednesday night. The Hawks fell behind in the second half by double digits, but came all the way back thanks to some inside play here. Ruth Anduati, 18 points on the night. Here she finds Nakia Smith, who had all 12 of her points in the second half. But no two of her points were more important than this one here. Fadeaway jumper and she gets the bounce that put the Hawks up for good as they go on to win 61 to 59. The Hawks hosted Boston College on Saturday afternoon and got out to another slow start. They were down eight points before getting their first basket here from Daphne Elliott from downtown. Alyssa Englert now getting in on the three point party. The Hawks went six for 12 from behind the arc on the game. Second half now, the Hawks had the lead at this point. Daphne Elliott with the steal, and she finds Amber Bepko, who hits the three to put the Hawks up five. Boston College did fight back, though, and actually took a six-point lead, but the Hawks eventually took control behind Daphne Elliott's 20 points on the night. They go on to win this one, going away by nine points. 54 to 45. The Hawks went 2-0 on the week and guard Daphne Elliott was named the America East Player of the Week for her efforts. The Hawks lone game this week Monday at Dartmouth. Moving on to the men's action, the Hawks were flying high against Quinnipiac. Clayton Brothers finding Oren Falk there for the jam, but the story was Andres Torres on fire from three. He finished the night with a career-high 25 points to lead the Hawks. Second half, Andres Torres again. The Hawks were down eight at the break, but stormed all the way back. And here, the block leads to the breakaway, and Mark Wakama gives the Hawks the lead on the jam. But in the end, it was Quinnipiac's offensive rebounding that won the day, as the Bobcats beat the Hawks 70-61. The Hawks were back in action Saturday evening. We take this from the second half, where it was the West Pole Show. Pole finished the night with a career-high 26 points on 8 for 13 from beyond the arc, seven of those threes coming in the second half doing it every which way he can. This one on an out-of-bounds play from the top of the key. Left and open on the left wing. Drained it, and here, setting up the screen by Nate Sigma from deep. But the Hawks, who had been down by 17 in the second half, fall short with their comeback. 79-76, to the final. Niagara comes away with the victory. Andres Torres added 18 for the Hawks, who are off until December 21st. And at the Harvard Open, indoor track and field came home with four event wins and broke two school records in what Hartford head coach Kathy Meniza said was a huge performance by the Hartford program. Last Saturday was highlighted by a pair of basketball games. However, those games weren't the only scheduled events here at the Rich Family Pavilion. In between those games, a group of student athletes, along with Howie the Hawk, taught local youth about sportsmanship. Right now, Hawks Vision takes a closer look at Howie's Sportsmanship Academy.
That's all we have for this edition of the Hawks Vision Weekly Update. Be sure to tune in next Monday and stay tuned throughout the week to the Hartford Athletics YouTube page and HartfordHawks.com for all of the latest on Hartford Athletics. For HartfordHawks.com, I'm Keith Arsenault. Have a great week.